Welcome back little monkey fans, it's Madison here and today I'm doing a room tour and I'm going to be opening some fan mail. A lot of you have requested to do a room tour. I actually did one a little while ago but it has changed a lot. I have my puppy with me right here. This is Maggie for um, the ones who haven't seen her in my other videos because she's sometimes in our videos. She's so small, I love her. She might look like a puppy, but she's a full grown adult. And her birthday is next week on the 29th. All right, well let's get started. First, I'm gonna start with my Reborns. So in the nursery area where I keep all my Reborns, um, this is one of their cribs where they sleep. So for those of you who haven't seen some of my Reborn videos, this is Mandy and I got her from Being Good, and Julie and Adeline I both got from Pumpkin Doodle Babies. So in this crib, Mandy and Julie sleep on this bottom part and then Adeline sleeps up here. And when I'm changing them, Adeline can sit down here and then also they'll just all play here together, the three girls. As you can see, this is a pack and play. So I just have the top part on right now, but if I wanted, I could take off the top part and then I could use the bottom for more space. But um, the girls aren't old enough for that. Well, Julie is, she can get out of the crib and hurt herself, but I don't need Mandy or Adeline down there. They're just too young. Anyways, Julie listens to me and doesn't get out of the crib, so I have no problem with keeping her up here because she's a good girl. Um, these aren't their real outfits that they came in, but that's okay. Although I really love Mandy's outfit because none of my reworns have actually worn this before. Um, so here's Mandy's outfit and it is super cute. Actually, none of my reborns have worn this yet. So she's a pretty lucky girl today. So she's the first one to test it. Um, I'm not sure where I got this, but it's super cute. And these are the shoes that she came in. I just love to keep them on her because I think it kind of completes her outfit. I don't have shoes for Adeline, so I might need to get her some of those. Because soon she's gonna have to go to daycare preschool. Here's Adeline's outfit, and she's actually worn it before as PJs in the summer, but that wasn't on camera. That was just um, me sleeping with her in my bedroom. Although I love it, it is so cute. It's Minnie Mouse, and it has like strawberries, watermelon, and flowers on it. I think the bottom part is very Hawaiian. Actually, I went to Hawaii before, and it was so beautiful there. Anyways, there's Adeline's outfit. And she's actually one of my favorites because she's full silicone. This is kind of funny. So when I first got Julie, I'm like, whoa, she's so heavy. And then the other day I picked up Adeline and I'm like, geez Louise, she is so light. But before I used to think Adeline was super heavy, but she's not heavy to me anymore. She's such a good girl. And this is Julie and she's one of my newest reborns. And the top she's wearing, um, she's worn it in a video for her preschool and I washed it just so she has clean outfits. And then the bottoms, I've never put on any of my dolls because they were so big. Um, they used to be mine when I was little and they have a PJ top with them, but I can't find that anywhere. So I thought that these would be perfect on her and they're super cute. I love when I can use my clothes on my reborns. Anyways, that's Julie. And what I really love about the pack and play is there's actually some place to store things. So right here I have some of my baby cloths for if they need a wipe when I'm feeding them or when I'm giving them a bath. Also where I have my cloths, I have a um, spare onesie just in case they have a little spit up or they go to the bathroom in their pants at night and they need a new outfit. And I have this spare outfit for Ireland and Caitlin because they more so have accidents in the night or little spit ups. So I just keep this for them right there. And it's also super cute. I love the monkey on it. And then over here I have a squeaky toy for them. And then I have my powder for them. And I also have a hairbrush. And then I have a whole bunch of diapers in all of their sizes. So for Adeline, Hunter, Caitlin, Ireland, Julie, and Mandy too. And then I also have an extra diaper right here. 
there we go. Right here I keep some wipes, and then I also have some diapers here too. But I have my wipes for them, so if they go poo, um, then I can wipe their bum. Oh geez, I probably should take this one out. These are wet wipes, so they're wet, and if you don't close it properly, they get crusty, like this one. Okay, it looks like this one's good for the trash. And here's where Hunter sleeps. So this is actually one of the American Girl doll baby baby cribs, but he fits pretty well for it, don't you, buddy? Yeah! And what I really like is there's this little hard toy, and he can actually play with it. So that's pretty good, because when he's in time out, he doesn't like that too much, but at least he has something to play with. Although I don't like to put any of my babies in time out, because I know they're young and they make mistakes, but sometimes they make mistakes that they need to learn from. And I mean st mistakes that are really bad. But Hunter and the others haven't made too many like that. Anyways, that's where Hunter sleeps. And then on the other side of the pack and play, Ireland and Caitlin sleep here. So this is their bed. It's a you and me bunk bed and it's super cute. So Ireland sleeps on the top bunk just because if she falls off, she usually doesn't fall off, but just in case she does, she won't be as hurt as Caitlin because Caitlin is younger than Ireland. So Caitlin sleeps on the bottom bunk, but I really love this bunk bed and then they will play on the top bunk together. So right now they're playing with their little toy. So this one's a fish toy and this one's a crab toy. And again, these used to be my toys, but I don't use them anymore because I'm not a baby anymore. Because I'm eight years old and I'm turning nine this summer. And next is where Julie goes to the bathroom. So right here is Julie's potty chart. And I used this before in your preschool video. And then I will make ones for the other babies once they start to potty train. The next ones that are gonna be potty training are Hunter, Adeline, and Mandy. Cause they're all the same age, pretty much. Anyways, we have the potty and it lifts up. And the cool thing is, is it lifts up and then when you're done, you can scooch it over to the sink and then you can use it as a stool, which is if you're too sure to get up to the sink. And then actually right here we have a toy bin. So this has like a teether toy. I really like the feet, how they're like squishy, along with the hands. And then we have this little clam and it's almost like a dog toy and it also squeaks. And then I store them for my babies in a fish aquarium, so that's pretty cool. And then actually there's water inside, so it's like the stickers can move around. They're just kind of stuck right now. There we go, that's better. And that was where all my reborns sleep. Come on, to the changing room. And here's my changing room. Up here I have my changing mat, and then down here I have all the baby's clothes. Right here is Julie's clothes. Right here I keep her long sleeves and short sleeves, here's her PJs, and all of her pants. And this is also more of Julie's stuff. Right here we have her bows, and then we have some headpieces. And then this one's actually Adeline's, but they can share. We just put all of the bows right here. And then right here we have Julie's socks and panties. Back here we have her shoes. And then we were supposed to have her two dresses here, but this is just one of her dresses. But her other dress that's for preschool is in the wash. And this dress for Adeline and Mandy. So we have a whole bunch of their clothes right here. They have some sweaters. Um, these dresses are actually for all of the girls for Christmas. Otherwise, it's all for Mandy and Adeline. But right here, this is where all of the baby's pacifier clips and pacifiers are. Here's storage for Hunter's clothes. Right here is his PJs, long sleeves, sweaters, and short sleeves, his pants, and then just some of his other clothes. And here's the drawer for Caitlin and Ireland. Right here we have their onesies, their PJs are right here, and then we have their pants back here. And I have to separate these from the others, otherwise I would have put them with Adeline and Mandy's, but these ones are newborn and preemie, so I don't want to get them mixed up. And here's Adeline and Mandy's clothes. So they have a lot of stuff. I'm not sure where's what, but I think their pants are back here. Then right here we have their tops, 
and their PJs, and then we have more tops. Anyways, they have a lot of clothes, and these tops are short sleeve, long sleeve, and tank tops. And that's where I store all my Reborn clothes. I do um, sometimes play with my Lava Bella and Baby Alive up here on my changing table, but I don't store any of their clothes down here. That's more so in my bedroom, although some of my Lava Bellas use my clothes for Ireland and Caitlin. Otherwise, that's really it. And here's where I store some of my other accessories that come into videos. This is where I put some of my baby lives. The rest of them are in my bedroom right now. And then back here I have lots of my storage space. So I have like Barbie horses, I have Scooby-Doo character, princesses, I have Raptor High, baby supplies, LOLs. So I have a whole bunch of things that I use in videos down here. So I also use this couch in videos, but the pain is I have so much baby lives because I love them is that I use this in videos and I'm like, oh, I gotta clear this off. So it's like I move them off. And then it's like, okay, I need to put them back here. Okay, I'll just put them back on. And I had to do that every single time I need to use this couch for my Reborns or for me to sit on or to put things there. So it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Although I need to find a better way to stir my baby lives. If you guys have an idea, please leave a comment down below. That would be a big help because I don't have any right now. Moving on to my table. So this is where I feed all my babies, but it's usually a little further back, closer to my kitchen. Um, but we do have some fan mail. After we do our fan mail, I'll show you my kitchen where I'll show you how to make my baby food and my baby drinks. Well, let's get this fan mail open. This one is from Zoe, and I'm so sorry, Zoe. We opened this a little later because it came a few months ago, so I'm so sorry. But anyways, here it is. I'm gonna start with the letter. I think this is the letter. Yep, this is the letter. It says, Dear Little Monkey Media, I like the video when you get squishies. And she says she lives in the United States. I'm not gonna say where though. And I have a YouTube channel and it's called Derpy Life. So check out her YouTube channel. We actually looked up Derpy Life and we saw one and we we're pretty sure it was her because there was a few Derpy Lifes. And it says, I just started to watch your videos. Big fun, love Zoe. Thank you so much, Zoe. And it also looks like she sent us another thing. And she drew a drawing of her. That's so cool. And it looks like she has glasses just like me. That is so awesome. Thank you so, so much, Zoe. I love it. And this one's from Cora. I love all the stickers she put on it. And I'm pretty sure it's her birthday this week. So happy birthday, Cora. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Well, let's get this opened. But let's see what Cora sent us. I'm gonna start with the notes. This one says, Dear Madison, hi, my name is Cora. I live in the United States, and I'm not gonna say where again. I really like your videos. My favorite newborn of yours is Julie and Caitlin. Thank you so much. I'm sure they just love to hear that. I am wishing for a new reborn for my ninth birthday in March. Well, Cora, I hope you get a reborn for your birthday. If you do, leave a comment down below. And what is his name? I just love to hear that. I mean, I really like reborns. They're just so cute. And then it also says, how old are you? I am eight years old and I'm actually turning nine in a few months. And then she says, what grade are you in? And she says, she's in second grade. I'm in grade three right now. And then she says, we brought a toy for your reburns. That is just so awesome. And then I think there's more. And then she says, I hope they like it. Have a great day. Keep making those videos from Cora, BFFs. Oh, and thank you so, so much, Cora. I think this part's my favorite, and she's really good at drawing hearts, too. I know mine always end up not that good. Oh, my dog, that is so cute, and it has a rattle. This is the cutest book ever. Oh, thank you so, so much, Cora. I know they'll love it. It is adorable. 
And then there's one more thing. And she made a picture and it's my taller Julie. And she said it's made by Cora. Aw, I love it. It's like she made her into a little princess, I think. I'm sure Julie will love this. Thank you so much, Zoe and Cora, for the fan mail. I just love it. And keep an eye in the mail for the next couple weeks. Because when we get fan mail, we like to send little monkey packages back. I'm going to give this to the girls so they can play with it. And I'm going to take the pictures there too so they can look at it. And then I'll meet you in the kitchen to finish off our room tour. <laughs> I love my Wagawan book and I love my picture. It's so pretty. Thank you, Toa. <laughs> And here's my storage space. So right here I have my cooking supplies. So I have some pans and pots. And then right here, these are my dishes for my babies, mostly. So we have like the plates, a lid for one of my containers that I have for the girls. Right here I have extra diaper storage. This is more extra diaper storage. And then I have a whole bunch of books. And this is my new kitchen and it's white and pink. I just love it. My other one was more, hmm, black and silver. And I'm gonna start with my fridge. So I have my fridge. I have like a timer right here. But the sad thing is it doesn't change to the real time. Um, so it's like you can fill up cups of water. And what I really like is this part will actually push back when you actually are filling up your water. My other one didn't do that, but that's kind of the coolest part. And then it has little buttons that you can push. But again, no sounds and no pouring water. And then in my fridge, I have some bottles, milk, and squishies. I don't know why I have squishies in there. Right here, I store my apron on a hook. I have two aprons, but this is my normal one. I have one for Christmas. Um, right here is a little shelf. So I put my pots here, well some of them, and then I have some cups. Up here I have some gloves. So I have some of these utensils for cooking. I think there's like a big one and a smaller one for each. I have this one too. This one's actually for spaghetti. And right here I have like a serving tray and I put some food on here. It's not food, it's squishy food. And then this is actually a kitty burger. It's a kitty burger. And then I have a donut. I remember I got these two for Christmas and look what happened. My finger indented it. <laughs> it's the perfect fit. <laughs> oh, I was so sad when it happened, but now it's just funny that I actually did that. Christmas cookies, and they're wooden, and you can put the toppings on them because they're Velcroed. And then I have my coffee maker, and this one makes sounds. And you can actually put stuff, and it will go into here. So it's like you can actually make real coffee, but I would never drink real coffee. I like hot chocolate better than coffee. I don't like coffee, but it does run real liquid through it. And then here's my microwave. Um, <laughs> looks like I'm cooking some bread. Okay, so this is my squishy bread. I don't know why, but I have everything squishy in this for some reason because that's the only thing I have. And then on the side here, there's this little hook for a phone, but I put a bouncy ball in there. I don't know why. <laughs> I just found a bouncy ball and I'm like, oh, this would fit there. So here's my stove top and I have a pot that's cooking a squishy egg, but this isn't a squishy egg. This is a gummy squishy egg. That's why it's like filthy. I need to wash it. <laughs> really bad. Then right here's my sink and this part comes out. So it's actually like a real sink. And I was like, I'm spraying it at you. So these are the dials that work for my oven and my cooktop. And they will turn. And in my oven, there's nothing but some trays, forks. Oh, this is, this is the bowl for that lid I had. <laughs> 
and here's my dishwasher and it looks like I'm storing cookies in there. Why would I be washing my cookies? I'll take those. And I actually got a new washer and dryer. I've actually never had one of these before. I really like it. Oh, I have a load that's in here. I need to put this into the dryer. These are all of my Reborns clothes. Wow. <laughs> I got a really full load. And then my laundry basket just stores down here. So that's pretty nice. I actually need to set this for this one. Um, so I'm going to do clothes and spin on and go. So that's how it works. It's pretty easy to work it. Oh, I remember the first time I got this, like, cause um, we had to build this and put it together. It's like, <laughs> I was literally washing my books on <laughs> bubbles. Oh, I loved when I did that, it was so funny. And this big one opens up, but also the small drawer opens. So then you can put it in there if you don't wanna have to open up the whole thing and risk that everything's just gonna pour out when you're done, then you can take it out one by one. I don't do that, I just open it fully. And over here I have my iron board, so I have my iron right here. And then I also need to iron out this hat right here. So this is actually one of Hunter's blue hats. And you can probably see that I have a Barbie doll house behind me. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see videos where I'm playing with that or doing a tour of it. And it has two sides to it and it can roll on wheels. So that is pretty possum. I know it's not part of my kitchen, it's more off to the side of my kitchen, but if you want to see me do videos where I'm doing a tour of it or using it, leave me a comment down below on what you'd like me to do with it. Barbies, Winks, My Little Ponies, all sorts of things. I could even do an LPS skit with it. Leave me a comment on what you'd like me to do with it. And this is where I have some more storage. Right here is some fake food, and then over here there's more. This is where I have some of my baby live food packets. I do my baby food mixtures. And I'm actually gonna be making this pink one for you today. Well, it's not so pink, it's more of a candy cane color. I call this my candy cane one. We have some mixers here and up here too. And all of my mixers are from Pottery Barn Kits. And I'm gonna be using these ones today. First, I'm gonna make my bottle. So I have my blender, and all you need is water, and then I use a washable marker. I like to use the Mr. Sketch because they smell so good. Okay, so what I do is I color it on a paper towel. So I didn't come up with this because I watched Kelly Maple. Um, so she did this, so I kind of do this too, but it really works pretty great. Although you do need a washable marker. And you can't drink this, so even if it looks good, don't drink it. It's not good. And the more color you put on the paper towel, the darker it's gonna be. And you need to tear off the piece, put it in your blender, and then you need to add water. And I use just a water bottle that I refill when it gets low. Now I just need to add some time and mix it up. I take out my little tissue piece. Oh my dog, that is so pink. And then you pour it in your bottle. And then you're done. And now I have a yummy strawberry drink for my Reborns. I'm sure they're gonna love it. Let's move on to our baby food. And this is actually real baby oats and you can find it at a store where it has like baby food. So probably just a local grocery store would have it. 
I think my flavor for this one's raspberry or strawberry. And then the same thing, I just add water. You're actually supposed to add milk with this, but I'm not adding milk, I add water. Time to use my mixer. I love using this one. And this is actually one of my new ones. And if you want it thicker, you add less water and more powder. But I usually have mine a little bit more liquidy just because my babies can't eat too much solid food. Well, Adeline and Hunter can, not so much Caitlin and Ireland. And if you're feeding this to your baby alive, it's better to have it more liquidy because we did this on Panda and it got stuck in her which was not very good, but it was because I had mine thicker. And I actually have really good tips on how to clean out your baby alive. So if you want me to do one of those videos, leave a comment down below. I think this is good. Doesn't it look delicious? And that's how I make my bottles and my baby food. Thanks for watching my room tour video. I hope you loved it. Bye, see you next time. Okay guys, I just have to make a few more bottles and then we can all have lunch. Yay! 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 The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go banana!